Well, you've reached another milestone, because now it's time to put on the top plate and button up your quadcopter. You may have found in doing all this flipping over and stuff, your camera may have fallen out, but that's okay, because we can simply just pop it right back in place. And then get the tabs into the slots. Make sure they're all seated in there. Putting a little pressure on the camera with your thumb does help hold it in its place. Wonderful. There we are, ready to button her up. Make sure your wires are nice and neatly pushed down. Make sure your wire for your, your programming connector is out of the way, but still accessible. I'm going to put mine right there. Beautiful. Take your camera mount, and by the way, you'll notice it says MQ. That's wrong. That's dyslexed. This is from Quad Monster, so I want it to say QN. Place it on top of your camera mounts and make sure those slits go right in both sides. The tabs have to go in the slits. It's important, it might take a little finessing to get it right. If you're really having trouble getting it to fit, here's a tip. Take your hex driver, your one and a half, and loosen the bolts a little bit. You can tighten them up again later. But if you loosen them, you can have a little bit more play in the camera mount. So once you've got that, now try to manipulate those tabs into the top plate. There we go. Now that the tabs of the camera mount are in place in their slots, we want to button this down by taking a 6mm bolt and putting it closest to the QM. And the reason for that is because I want to put pressure closest to those tabs so the camera mount stays put. So once I get two in there, I'm going to be pretty good. And I'm not going to go all the way tight until I get them all down. Now it's seated well. Now that the camera mount is being held securely, I could take my time to put my bolts on my hex driver and work them in. Now that I got them all in, I can give them some final tightening. And you do want to make them snug now because you do not want them to come out in flight. Oh, looks like I have two more I missed. I would have discovered that eventually. I'm just nervous because you're watching me. There you go. But we're not done yet. What's missing here? Guess what? You forgot the antenna mounts. This is the time to put them on. We have a cap and a stick. So very simple. Take the antenna stick and slide your antenna in it. All the way down and put it in the hole. Just like that. On the other side. Again, take your antenna mount and simply just slide your antenna down it and center it in the mount, just like that. Now in our case, we have some, we have some antenna tips coming out the end. These are the business ends. You do not want to cut these. And the length of this antenna is critical to the receiver receiving commands from your radio. So do not cut this. You do not need to apply these rubber ends, so just put them aside. By the way, I always lose them 
whenever I have these black tips on my quadcopters, they soon get lost in a crash. No loss. Last piece we have is this, this little rubber retainer. And this just slides right over your quadcopter antennas and down the tube. The purpose of the strap is to keep the antennas close to the frame so they don't bounce around. And that looks fantastic. Look at that. Look what you did. You have actually built a quadcopter. It is 99 and 44 one hundredth percent done. Why? Because we haven't finished with the ESCs yet. The ESCs still need to be tested, shrunk down, and mounted. But we can't do that till we start programming and making sure that everything is working fine here. So again, you are 99 and 44 one hundredth percent done and congratulations on building your first quadcopter. Let's get to programming it next.